Hello, and welcome back to Bamboo Ba 2. More fun talk with Bamboo. If you like Bamboo, like I do, check out my website, BambooBatu.com. B-A-M-B-U-B-A-T-U.com. Tons of free info. Check out more videos on this channel. I've got dozens of cool videos. Lots of free info. Check it out. We love bamboo, and we love sharing bamboo, and we love promoting it. And there's a lot to learn about bamboo. I've been into bamboo for 15, 20 years, and I keep learning more and more about it every week. So I'm here to share that with you. Today we're going to talk about bamboo and why bamboo is good for the weather. We already know that bamboo is good for the climate. If you don't know that, again, refer to other videos on this channel or refer to my website. Lots of info on why bamboo is important for climate change. But it's also good on a smaller scale for improving the weather, for creating little microclimates. It reminds me of a little German expression that I like. In German, they say... They say something in German. They say, Alle Reden von Wetter, aber keine tut etwas dagegen. There's something like that. It sounds better when they say it, but basically what it means is everybody likes to complain about the weather, but nobody does anything about it. Well, today I'm here to tell you what you can do about it. And that, of course, involves bamboo. So let's start with why bamboo is important for the climate, which is different than the weather. But the cool thing bamboo does for the climate is basically photosynthesis. Right now we have too much CO2 in the air, in the atmosphere. We have about 420 parts per million last time we checked. And that number might not mean much to you, but to climate scientists and others in that field, 420 parts per million is a lot of CO2. And that is what, <clears throat> that's what's causing uh, the greenhouse effect, global warming, uh, rising sea level temperatures, all problematic, um, which is leading to more and more frequent extreme weather events. And uh, we would like to get that down to something like 300 parts per million. There's a, there's a website called 350.org. And the basis of that is, the philosophy behind that is that 350 parts per million is about the the upper limit. Uh, 300 parts per million was more the norm in pre-industrial times, so 100, 200 years ago. But uh, anywhere in that range would be good. And so photosynthesis of trees and plants and bamboo particularly is important for that. Bamboo grows super fast. The shoots grow up to a few feet a day in the growing season. And as they do that, they're sucking up lots of CO2 and cranking out lots of oxygen. And that is very important for mitigating climate change. But we also want to talk about the weather, not just the climate, which is a different thing. Bamboo is super important for creating shade. If you plant some bamboo, one of the first things you'll notice is you've created lots of shade. It grows very quickly. Um takes a few years to get established, but once a, once a healthy bamboo grove is established, uh, there is lots of shade and that sh shade will naturally provide cooling in the surrounding areas and it will help the soil to retain moisture, which will also improve the, the, uh, it will lower the temperatures in the area. So during a heat wave or in the summertime, when it's hot, you can walk into the bamboo grove and the air is cool and the shade is there and there's some moisture and it can be quite refreshing. Um, bamboo roots, also amazing. Bamboo roots form this mesh in the soil that um, absorb the water, but they don't just suck the water out of the ground. What they do is they raise the water table. So there's, you know, there's like layers of water aquifers underground. And when you have a forest of some kind, it will bring those aquifers higher, closer to the surface of the earth. And that is helpful for all kinds of different plant life uh, when there's easier access to, to this water system. So the, the bamboo, think of these bamboo poles, they're like big straws and they're, they're sucking water up from the, from the underground, closer to the surface. 
and that improves the weather by, again, keeping the soil moist, uh, provides cooling, and the bamboo roots are vigorous. They have tenacity and stick to and they spread, and they form this complex network, and they retain the moisture very well. They bring up the moisture, and they hold it there uh, in this web of rhizomes. And it's a pretty cool phenomenon. <clears throat> uh, another thing, bamboo is actually quite amazing. It can actually attract rain and humidity into an area. Uh, I come from California where we have redwood forests and redwood forests are also very good at this. They, they pull in the fog off of the coast and the fog gets sucked into the forest and it lingers there between the trees and it keeps the trees moist and it creates this cooling zone and it is very cool in, in every sense of the word. And bamboo can do a similar thing in dry areas if you plant, uh, get some bamboo going. You know, if you plant one bamboo clump in your backyard or, you know, a 10 by 20 foot zone of bamboo, it's not going to do a whole lot to change the weather patterns in your zip code. You'll get some shade, of course, in the summer, which is cool. Um, so you can have that micro impact, <clears throat> but you're not really going to create a new microclimate. Uh, but if you plant lots and lots of bamboo, if you're doing a reforestation project of some kind, uh, bamboo can actually have quite an impact uh, and form the, these microclimates where um, weather patterns actually change. Uh, more clouds and rain are, are pulled into the, to the uh, bamboo forest zone, and that can have lots of uh, trickle-down benefits, if you know what I mean as the raindrops trickle down uh, and it creates more fertile soil and better conditions for farming and it can really make positive impacts on rural communities when their farmland is is reinvigorated um, with healthier soil and, and more rainfall super crucial stuff and that brings us to biodiversity which is one thing i like perhaps even more than bamboo is biodiversity uh, planting bamboo is amazing. Bamboo can do great things, but bamboo by itself is just a monocrop monoculture, and I'm no fan of monoculture. But uh, bamboo can mix quite well with other things, and as the soil improves, um, as the bamboo roots, those tenacious roots hold the soil together, it creates more favorable conditions for other plants to get in there and growing alongside the bamboo, and as more rainfall comes as the water as the soil is retaining more moisture um, more other different types of plants can can grow in there and mix and then you get different types of uh, wildlife that come to the area because they enjoy the the bamboo and the different types of trees and all, all sorts of good nesting areas both um, above ground and below ground and who doesn't love more biodiversity it's a great thing so yeah, bamboo for better weather. It's uh, it's an amazing it's an amazing thing. Bamboo. There is actually a lot of bamboo growing in the desert, in a semi-desert area. This is in the Sahel region. That's the region just south of the Sahara Desert. Um, it's like a transition zone between the desert and the savanna. It's a very sensitive habitat, and it's been seriously threatened by climate change. The desert is expanding, encroaching on this area, encroaching on agricultural land, farmland. Um, so in countries like Nigeria, that's where this picture is, northern Nigeria, northern Ghana, um, northern Cameroon, into Niger, Chad, Sudan, Ethiopia, all those areas in the Sahel, all the way across uh, to the other side to uh, Senegal, Mali, Mauritania. Anyway, check out an atlas and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. There's lots of countries that are that are in that in that band across um, across uh, Central Africa, the Sahel region, and it's uh, it's literally the front lines of climate change. <clears throat> the desert is expanding, and bamboo is one and not the only tool, but one tool that could be very important in helping to preserve that sensitive habitat to keep uh, to keep the weather better there, to keep the soil intact. Uh, protecting it from landslides and erosions and things like that. 
and mixing bamboo with other things like food crops, cash crops, other native trees and plants um, could be crucial, could be vital to maintaining biodiversity. <clears throat> Pardon me. And maintaining good, um, viable, arable farmland. So let's do it. Let's plant more bamboo and let it rain. <clears throat> let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Hope you enjoyed this little talk about bamboo and the weather. Hope you're enjoying some good weather. It's springtime here where I am today. I wore my flip-flops for the first time today, so I'm pretty excited about that. Not a lot of rain. I'm in uh, northern Spain at the moment in Catalonia, and there's not much rain. There's not enough bamboo. I'm sure that's part of the problem. But hope you're enjoying some great weather, some sunshine, and adequate precipitation. If you enjoy these videos, please let me know in the comment section. Follow the channel. Tell your friends. Make Bamboo Batu your new favorite. And we'll see you next week. Thanks a lot. So long.